Hey, thanks for tuning in today. It is a beautiful morning here in Florida. It is humid as F, but that is what it is because it's Florida and it's July. So today we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm going to break out my new Bushcraft Toolkit version two. I have not upgraded this since Tennessee, which is crazy, but I got some new additions and I got all the tools in a new tool roll that I got in from Roaring Fire Gear for review top quality tool roll, tons of options for storing different stuff. Um, it's just been um, really sweet. And then I was able to adapt it to fit my shovel too. So I thought that was cool. So we're gonna have a look at everything that I have in the tool roll, and then we're gonna build a shelter. And the idea with the shelter is simple, effective, and it doesn't take forever to build. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And then maybe if we get lucky, we'll see some animals around here because I was just strolling around looking for a shelter site, being real quiet. And literally from where I'm standing right now to that stump, a huge, I mean, we're talking massive wild pig comes walking by just straight across my field of view. Good 200 pounds, at least. I mean, a big boy. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I seen some armadillos rolling around here. It's just a nice area, lots of diverse wildlife. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got in the Bushcraft Tool Roll version two. All right, let's have a look at that tool roll. It is by Roaring Fire Gear. It is the first time they've put out one of these tool rolls. There's a, not a lot of options on the market, actually, even for tool rolls of this nature. So I was pretty happy to get my hands on this for review. And after looking at it, it became very obvious to me that I was gonna turn this into a bushcraft toolkit. So let's have a look at all the different, you know, bits and pieces of the functionality that you get with this tool roll. We got three different pockets right here, which is pretty nice. I have this knot tying card right here because I suck at tying knots. Nice to have. And then here we just have slip pockets all throughout on each side of various sizes, dimensions, depths, widths, and all that kind of good stuff. And then there is also some attachment points throughout the entire back of the tool roll. I'm utilizing those to the best of to the best of my ability. And then on this side over here, we got the same thing, but instead of three pockets, we got two big wide open pockets. And then here on the back, as you guys might have noticed, I got a shovel head. Now this goes to the world's most tactical, tactical shovel. I did a review on this a while back, and I was pretty happy to be able to get this included with my bushcraft kit because having a shovel when you're building shelters and building trenches and digging is a huge asset so i'm gonna go ahead and break that out right now these are those three pieces right here it all just kind of fits together in a happy little puzzle oh i have some bank line here this is awesome stuff for building shelters silky pocket boy 170 with the big boy teeth i have 55 gallon trash bags I have a carpenter's pencil. I have a level. I also have this auger bit right here, which is, this is gonna be my first experience with using auger bits, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then I also have right here, some old fashioned, old timey nails, which I thought might come in handy. And my big beefy fire starter. So that's basically the contents of the tool roll. All right, so we're going to grab this guy and get down to work. Now listen, obviously, depending on the shelter that you're building, you may want to bring different cutting tools because if I'm trying to take down some big old tree like this guy right here, 
You think this is gonna work? Nah, way too small. But for the purposes that I have in mind in the shelter, all I really need is the good old Silky Pocket Boy 170. Let's go find ourselves some straight trees. Now whenever I'm working on a shelter guys, I always try to find dead wood first. Trees that have just come down, like this one right here. And there's no reason to cut anything. Take down a live tree. I've got a perfect one right here. And then it looks like there's another one right there. All right, so there you go guys, the auger bit in action for me being the first time, maybe not for you. Now you might be watching this and saying like, hey, his idea is not gonna work. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I'm just trying out different stuff because my main goal was obviously to get out here and build a shelter. Maybe I get it done today, maybe I don't, but I really wanted to use the auger bit and see what it can do and just get used to using it. So drilling out these two holes like that one there and then this hole, the idea is to cut down a piece of wood big enough to fit fit in here and have it stick out maybe about two inches and I put that cross beam across it right lay that on top lash that down and then I can do the post on the back here and here and hopefully 
get the frame of this done. That's my main goal. I want to get the frame done, and I would like to get a, get a ridge pull up. And if I can get all that done before lunch, that would be freaking awesome because I got a busy day stacked in front of me, aside from just hanging out in the woods and uh, doing bushcraft. I wish I could stay all day. Can't do it. So, back to work. I got myself a nice piece of green wood right here. Hopefully, I can get this trimmed down to the right size, get it to fit in there, and then I'll just repeat the same process for the other hole. Yeah, so that was a little noisy. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing on this side over here. All right, so we got that guy in there and this one. I guess it's okay for my first time. We'll find out. But I definitely want to get this up here. Ah, this is a big boy. Heavy. Two hours of non-stop work. This is where we're at. And yes, it does not look like much at all. But, to be honest here guys, there's a lot more that goes into building a shelter than actually building the shelter. You have to find a good location to build that shelter. You have to ensure that there's wildlife in the area. You have to ensure that there's water. You have to make sure there's nice tall trees in the area. Straight ones, preferably. It's nice to have. And then after you do all that, then you gotta go cut down all the trees or find what you can find on the ground. Haul that back to the site. Trim all that up, cut that down to size, and then you have to clear the shelter site. And then you actually get down to the building process. So. Although it doesn't look like much, I think after a couple hours of good, honest, hard labor, I've made some good progress. The primary mission has been accomplished though. To put the new tool roll to the test, see if I had everything that I needed, and surely enough, I did. I used the level, I used the shovel, I used the auger, and I also used uh, the bank line, and um, what was next? Uh, the folding saw. So basically used almost everything in that tool roll. So it's awesome to have everything and one place and you just unfold that bad boy and get out what you actually need and that's pretty much it. I got a little mess over here to clean up as you can see but uh, aside from that I think it's been a pretty successful trip and I got to try out that auger bit which was a lot of fun and hopefully my little plan with these stubs in here works out. So anyways guys I appreciate you watching. If you're still here, thanks for making it all the way through the video. It's a little different format. Switched it up a little bit. Hope you enjoyed it. And check out that pin post. There is a link to the tool roll that I'm using, the one by Roaring Fire Gear. It's down there in the pin post. And drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about how this is progressing along and what type of shelter sites you like to build. Anyways, appreciate the support. 
and I'll see you guys next time. I'm getting to get the hell out of here. I probably already lost like five pounds in water weight. Humidity factor is crazy, like 90%. So it is what it is, man. You got to get out of here and survive. Get your support for the channel by checking out the wide range of survival gear available at thesurvivaloutpost.com. We stock only top quality, rugged, tactical equipment and apparel designed to support any mission or situation life may throw your way. Any gear you've seen in this video is linked up down there in the pin post and be sure to check out the suggested videos for more real world survival content and training.